Donald Trump's past rude comments about Kate Middleton resurface ahead of President's UK visit. President Donald Trump is set to visit England for a three-day state visit and, ahead of the trip, some unsavory comments he made about Kate Middleton in the past are getting attention again. The tweets, posted in 2012, could make for an awkward moment with Middleton, should she meet with the president. Trump's Twitter posts about Kate Middleton resurface. Back in 2012, while Prince William and Kate Middleton were on a holiday in the south of France, the paparazzi snagged photos of Middleton sunbathing topless. The French tabloid Closer published the images, with the palace suing the tabloid. Among the many people who shared their opinions over the images was Donald Trump, who took to Twitter to slam Middleton and sign with the paparazzi and tabloid. He tweeted at the time, Kate Middleton is great, but she shouldn't be sunbathing in the nude only herself to blame. He followed it with another tweet, noting, who wouldn't take Kate's picture and make lots of money if she does the nude sunbathing thing. Come on Kate. It took five years following the lawsuit for a verdict, with a judge ordering that the magazine pay the couple euro 100k in damages. Kate Middleton is great but she shouldn't be sunbathing in the nude only herself to blame. Trump's comments about Princess Diana surface again. In addition to his comments about Middleton, a 1997 interview with Howard Stern has also resurfaced, in which Trump says he could have nailed Princess Diana. Stern asked, Why do people think it's egotistical of you to say you could have gotten Lady D? You could have gotten her, right? You could have nailed her. Trump responded, I think I could have, adding, She was actually really beautiful. I thought she was supermodel beautiful. He added, she had times when she didn't look great and she had times when she looked better than anyone in the world. But she had the height, she had magnificent skin, she was a great beauty. Broadcaster Selena Scott, a friend of Diana's, said that Trump gave Diana the creeps and she felt like he was stalking her. Scott noted in the Sunday Times in 2015, he bombarded Diana at Kensington Palace with massive bouquets each worth hundreds of pounds. They were accompanied by handwritten notes expressing sympathy, his great regard for her and the suggestion that they get together. She added, Trump clearly saw Diana as the ultimate trophy wife. As the roses and orchids piled up at her apartment she became increasingly concerned about what she should do. It had begun to feel as if Trump was stalking her. Scott noted that Diana once said of Trump, what am I going to do? He gives me the creeps. Trump called Meghan Markle nasty. Of course, Trump's most recent comments about a member of the royal family are rubbing many the wrong way, as he called Meghan Markle nasty for comments she made about him during his presidential run. He responded, I didn't know that, no. So what can I say? No, I didn't know that she was nasty.